Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Normand Champigny of Quebec Precious Metals. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. And of course, Normand, we've all been following Quebec Precious Metals, and you recently just made an announcement about a discovery uh, of over two kilometers and a drilling update. We'd love to get an update from you. Thank you. So our flagship project is Sakami, and we've been working in the La Pointe area over the last two years since the creation of the company. And during the winter, we tested out an extension of that La Pointe deposit. And we have gold there, a significant amount of gold that's been released in a number of holes. And recently, uh, we have announced also that through geophysics, we can show that this keeps extending further to the southwest. So that's all very exciting to define an area that is of sufficient size to have a very significant resource identified through additional drilling. And of course, throughout the summer, you've been putting out uh, drilling milestones, and uh, you've had a couple of announcements this summer. So, you know, is there any additional drilling highlights that you'd like to draw the Investor Intel audience's attention to? At the, the uh, La Pointe extension discovery, what's interesting is that we've got very significant drilling widths, 30, 40, 50, up to 80 meters with the grades above one gram close to surface. So that's very encouraging, uh, and uh, we have still more holes to be released because the lab is still going through the backlog after stopping drilling uh, in March because of COVID and restarting recently. So um, that in itself is, again, very significant, and it keeps getting better. The more we drill, we keep finding that it's getting better, wider uh, mineralization, uh, and of a similar nature where we have found historically. We have a lot of new people looking at gold, new investors, and they don't necessarily understand what drilling highlights means, Normand. <laughs> so would you mind basically dumbing that down for new investors who are interested in gold because of how gold's price prices have skyrocketed uh, in the last several months? Can you talk to them a little bit about how to look at drilling results, for instance? So drilling results, the rule of the thumb that is used in that business is if you have over 100 meters uh, of one gram, that's very significant. But you can also have one meters of 100 grams, that's very significant. Now, the difference between the two is that one, the very high grade one, is likely to be mined underground because it's over a narrow width. The other one is likely to be mined open pit if it's shallow enough. Uh, so you have to separate the two. Uh, if you have something that's close to the the product of the width versus the grade that is around 100, which we have, then you know you have something that stands out amongst other drilling results. So for investors, I would look for that 100 number, and also I would look for significant widths at grades, say, of 1 to 2 grams for open pit, or underground at very high grades, say, 10, 20, or 30 more grams over a few meters. I was just speaking with my broker the other day. I, I went out on Bay Street. I had a, a meeting with him. Of course, we both had our face masks on. And he said, have you seen what's happening in the news? Gold prices just has, is, is falling. And, you know, of course, I, I said, no, I've only been out of the office for two hours. And I looked at the price and I thought, this doesn't look like a a crashing gold price. Can you tell us what the real experts are saying about what's happening with gold prices presently? Well, for some time people have predicted gold prices are going to go up. The question was when and by how much. Uh, the fundamentals are there. The gold production worldwide is declining. It's getting tougher to mine gold and it's getting to do it at a higher cost. Two, the economic situation is not good right now. People are looking for gold as an investment opportunity. And a jewelry demand for gold does not, um, doesn't stop. In fact, in India, people have gone back to do loans in gold for small businesses. So there are also other factors, but all those factors point out to a higher price. And we're seeing that a steadily increase. Some people are saying it's going to be a lot higher. Some people are going to say, well, it has to reach a new plateau or a new level. Uh, we have all different views on it. My own view is that we're going to see a steadily increase over time of the gold price. Okay. And also, 
For all of you out there who are following Quebec precious metals, like myself, you recently changed your trading symbol from CJC to QPM. Can you tell us a little bit more about your trading symbol change? So QPM means Quebec precious metal. It's something we wanted to do since the creation of the company two years ago. We didn't get around to do it. We thought now's the time to do it. So we went ahead and it's certainly a far more meaningful symbol than what we had before. And speaking of timing, what should shareholders or interested parties anticipate, say, in the next upcoming quarter from Quebec Precious Metals? Well, the precious uh, metal company that we run uh, has announced that we are drilling again after doing some surface work that started in June and will continue to drill until the end of the year. So you should anticipate uh, significant news flow from those drilling results. Uh, aiming at identifying this 2 million ounce potential that we've been talking about since the uh, uh, creation of the company back in 2018. Uh, we also uh, have non-core assets, assets that came as part of the creation of the company for primary one of the company that was merged. Uh, and uh, we should expect some uh, revenue from that uh, as the sales processes continue. Well, Norman, thank you so much for updating us today. It was a pleasure to speak with you. As usual, it's a real pleasure. Thank you.